I have shown several types of SSDs with various formats and storage capacities, and one of the best M.2 SSDs, the Samsung 980 Pro with 2TB of capacity. But today I'm going to show you a versatile M.2 SSD with potential. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. This is the Kioxia BG3 NVMe M.2 SSD. It is an SSD with TLC technology, which offers a balance between performance and efficiency. This M.2 module has a 2280 format with a length of 80 mm, with a PCIe Express 3 interface, sequential read speed that can theoretically reach 2500 megabytes per second, and sequential write speed of 1700 megabytes per second but the maximum speed may depend on the microchips of the M.2 module, but also if the file reading is sequential. But I'm going to do a speed test on this M.2 SSD to prove the real speed. Mounting an M.2 SSD in the computer is a very simple task. Open the computer and find where the computer's M.2 connection is. Generally, this slot is identified as M.2 and only allows the M.2 module to be placed in one position. Place the SSD on the computer's M.2 connection and put the screw to secure the SSD module. And that's it. The SSD M.2 is installed in the computer and it's ready to be used. I'm going to do a test with the best conditions to see what the maximum speed is. You can see that the sequential read speed of this SSD was 1000 594 megabytes per second, only 60% of the maximum possible speed of a PCIe Express 3 interface, but 1600 megabytes per second of read speed is good for any task to do on a computer. The result of the sequential write test was 778 megabytes per second, around 50% of the maximum speed it could have. Although it is lower than expected, it is still an acceptable speed for a normal computer. So, these were the results of sequential reading and writing tests under the best conditions, with 1.6 GB per second of file reading and 800 MB per second of file writing. But under normal computer use conditions, these speeds will be lower. Doing a complete test with sequential and random reading, you can see that the results are lower. The more random the reading of the files on the SSD, the lower the speed, which can even be 200 megabytes per second. And the same happens with the writing speed, but with even lower values. As you can see from the results, under normal use conditions, the speed is even lower. But these results will depend on the size of the files, number of the files, and either if it's sequential or random reading. Although the test result is not the best for an M.2 SSD, the result is good for a normal computer. But this is not an SSD that I recommend for anyone who wants to have a very good computer. And you should choose an SSD with at least 1TB of capacity. But now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. And if you have any questions, write in the comments.